It all started about four years ago, watching the American-style barbecue TV shows, watching them over and over again and practicing and practicing. 2017 were the national champions. We backed it up this year in 2018. We came number four in Australia. We also went over to America to compete in the American Royal against 470 teams. I'm Scott Boaty, pitmaster of Big Smoke Barbecue. We cook on a Manhorn offset barbecue smoker. We've had this custom built so we can take it around. We literally just roll in, start the fire, and serve platters laid out in the middle of the table and everyone shares the food. Carlin Cellars is a great little bottle shop and bar. We're gonna set up the matador out here and cook some beautiful beef ribs. The Radiant Pro is a real versatile barbecue. You can have your meat on one side and also cook hot and fast with the vegetables on the other. Cooking barbecue for me is all about getting friends and family together, cooking with smoke and letting everyone enjoy the flavors of the meal. First thing we're gonna to do today is get the barbecue set up for cooking. We're gonna set the coals up on the opposite end of the fan so the fan can blow directly onto the coals and cook low and slow. Now you wanna put two or three fire lighters in and then just three or four barbecue briquettes. Now the coals are turning white, we can pour the next layer in. Put the cooking grate back on so the flaps open up over the coals so you can add more coals to if you need to during the cook and to put your wood chunk on as well. The Radiant Pro has a great little temperature probe unit that's hooked up to the fan. So you just wanna put that on the opposite end of where your fire is to get the temperature and control the fan. You can set the temperature on the control unit or alternatively on your phone via Bluetooth. Set it to 130 degrees, which is ideal for beef ribs. First thing you wanna do when choosing your beef ribs is really look for this marble score through the meat. Um, the more marble it has, the more juicy your meat's gonna be while cooking it. Now that we've cut all the fat off, you can see the marbling behind there. Turn over the ribs onto the back there. And you can see you've got this membrane on the back of the beef ribs. So we're gonna remove that. If you didn't remove that, the smoke and the, um, the rub that we're putting on there won't penetrate the meat. Now we're gonna make the rub. We've got a third of a cup of salt, third of a cup of pepper, two tablespoons of cumin, a tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of paprika, and a tablespoon of mustard powder. So you just wanna to try to pat down on the meat and not rub it in too much. Let the, the meat sit there for about 10 minutes or so and you'll start to see the meat sweat and it'll just help stick the rub to the meat. So now the barbecue's at temperature, we're gonna add some wood to the coals just to give the meat a real nice smoky flavor. Today we're using oak wood, but you can use peach wood or apple wood to give it a really nice taste. The Radiant Pro has got a large cooking surface, which makes it ideal for smoking. Now we just want to put the meat again on the opposite end of where the flames are and put the temperature probe in. The meat temperature probe is connected to the control unit, which is going to help us tell when the meat's ready. Pop the lid back on and leave it for an hour or so before we check. You want to have the vent above where the meat is on the opposite side of the charcoal. This helps draw the smoke over the top of the meat and out through the vent. This spray I'm using is equal parts water, apple cider vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. We'll spray this every 30 to 40 minutes just to keep the meat moist. So well over halfway into the cook and we're going to wrap the ribs. We know the meat is ready to be wrapped when the meat starts peeling away from the bones and you can start to see the crust forming. So we're just going to pull out the temperature probe. We're going to pour a little bit of the, the liquid that we were spraying on the meat before just to help steam it. Now we'll leave that for another hour or so and then we'll start testing for tenderness. While we're waiting for the meat to cook, we're going to prepare a couple of sides, charred broccolini and some grilled corn. So the temperature probe is now telling us that it's at 98 degrees, which is a good time to check for tenderness. And when it goes in like melted butter, you know it's ready. All right, so now we're going to take that off and rest it for at least an hour. While our meat's resting, we're going to start with the corn, again over the other side where the meat was, away from the flames. So you can hear that broccolini now sizzling away. We're just going to turn that over. The meat's been resting for about an hour. Our vegetables are almost done, so it's time to slice up the beef ribs. And you just want to slice in between the two bones. So you can see we've got a nice smoke ring there and the meat is nice and juicy. So we know it's been rendered down nicely. So there you have it, slow cooked barbecue beef ribs, cooked on the Matador Radiant Pro. Now that's a sign of a great barbecue.